Hey, oh, welcome back, everybody. This is Ian Chikina with game number three, this tiebreaker game in this best of three series on Yansu Ladder Edition. Let's head on and introduce our two players in the top right hand corner once again for the third and final time. It's going to be uh, Innovation. And his opponent's. Uh, uh, yeah, you already saw it, and you already knew it's Liquid Tasia, the Blue Terran player. So we've seen from Tasia. He wants to play aggressive. The two games he's played so far, um, one base plays, go in, try and get it done, finish it soon. That's kind of been his motif so far. Innovation. Uh, you know, game number one, wanted to do the mech, wanted to play it out, worked for him. Game two, didn't really get to see what he wanted to do there. <laughs> Went for a very fast factory. Um, but we didn't get to see from that point on what he was planning to do because Tasia over here, this little this little rap scallion decided to go for a proxy two barracks push and it uh it did a number on innovation, cost him the game. But right now, it's looking like innovation is doing the exact same build he was planning on doing last game. So this will kind of give us an idea of what possibly innovation was planning game number two. Uh, if we see a factory come down. Uh, as soon as uh, he gets 100 gas and as soon as the Sparex finishes, that'll give us a, probably a good indication that that's what he was going for. And Tasia, definitely not going for what he was, uh, not going for what he did last game with the Proxy Barracks. Being a nice guy and planting that in his base this time, man, throwing down a refinery to follow this up. So, But he is scouting, and uh, this time Innovation is like, okay, I'm doing the same build, but I'm going to scout. I'm not going to be greedy. He's going to see the SCV there and think, okay, that gives him a little bit of relief seeing the SCV come from that location. You don't have to worry about proxy buildings being, I mean, I guess you could worry about him being down here, but that would kind of be, that would be strange, uncommon. Nevertheless, innovation will scout out, and okay, there we do see the factory goes down right away. So this is the similar build up until this point, at least from innovation, and uh, Teja just being annoying. <laughs> he, he can't <laughs> proxy barracks, but he will harass you with this single SCV. Orbital done for Teja. And Innovation's just a little bit further behind, of course, because he went that refinery a little bit quicker and he went with that factory as well. So, uh, Orbital Command finishing just a tad bit later, but not in too serious there. I think his mule's like a couple seconds ahead of his opponents. So, the Marines are coming out. SSV made it back home. He's got some stories to tell. Both of these guys are beat up. And what is Innovation going to go here? Starport, okay. And another fat refinery. So this is looking like Banshee again. And command center from Tasia. Tasia gonna decide and play it a little bit more macroy this game. So will we have the Banshee versus the command center opening? And this is like a one of the most polar openings, I guess you could say, or one of the most common polar openings. You could say that so many times I've just have seen, oh look at this, I love that, Tasia pulling away the mule uh, before the last trip uh, because that mule will uh, drop, will die before he return those, returns those minerals even though he will actually, uh, uh, he'll die before he returns the minerals but the minerals will be on the mule so you mine the minerals but you don't get to keep them which is essentially just cuts those minerals out of your pocket. Now the one way to deal with this of course is to either mine solely at these back mineral patches, the long ones, like this one, this one, this one, and this one, mine at that, mine that way, uh, or uh, mine at the close ones like Tasia's doing, and then just pull him off uh, at the very last second before he goes back on his last trip. Two ways to deal with that. So Hellion's coming out for Tasia, Starport coming up behind this. He's got a nice little contingency of forces, a uh, Marine's holding up here on the high ground. It's going to allow him to uh, see if he pulls that mule away. Is he going to do it? All right, there it goes. He needs to pull it away. Oh, he's going to mine it. See? Oh, he did it. He did it. Tasia's on top of things here, guys. Tasia's on top of it. Now, uh, Innovation with the Raven just chilling out here. <laughs> uh, just chilling up here, just watching things happen. Uh, Marine's holding the ramp there. Now, here we have the mule uh, from Innovation. He's mining from the long distance patch, and you'll see right there, he got the minerals, returned it, and then died, so you don't waste the minerals. So there's the two trains of thought. Then here we have mining at the long distance one too. I prefer to mine from the further back one, uh, just because you don't have to worry about 
remembering that mule later. Uh, sure, you don't get your minerals as soon as you would as if you did the other patch, but I think it's just it's just easier for you know non amazing level players like me. Just less things you have to think about. In the grand scheme of things, I don't know if getting you know your minerals you know like two seconds sooner than your opponent would is is that big of a deal. It's early on in the game. So today, innovation pushing out some marines. Got a siege tank here. He's gonna pop that guy. Siege up. Is he gonna siege up? No, not yet. He's got a nice air defense here, so innovation playing safe. He's got uh, quite a decent sized force here. Has his own command center being built also, and he's gonna start to push out. So as far as Tej's defense goes, he's got a couple marines, a viking bunker gonna go up, but no, fit, mo no tanks of his own. And the Hellions are going to get into the main of Innovation. One goes down already, but they're going to be able to go in here and maybe get one or two kills. Uh, one goes down for sure. Going to get a second one. Yes, the second one goes down. And the SCVs retaliate. They get one at Hellion killed. Another SCV bites the dust. And another one bites the dust. And another one bites the dust. So Innovation is going to have some nice siege tanks. He's going to have some Marines. Uh, Tasia gets scanned. Shows one siege tank. They each have a raven and they each have a viking of their own. But I think uh, we see more vikings out of innovation. And a medevac. So that medevac's nice. It's going to allow him to... Uh, first he's going to have air control because he's got more vikings. He's going to have medevac so he can just drop him here in the high ground. And this is a bad position here for Tasia. Innovation is just cut right into the heart of Tasia. He's got the medevac. He's got the marines. He's just walking right up in here. There's a lot of marines here from Tasia though. But he does have the medevac. The siege tank is going to try and siege up Tasia's supply block to innovation. Gonna pick a fight here, but he's gonna fall back. Yeah, falls back in a tank siege range. There's a siege range right there, but it's a siege tank. Get some position. These Marines on the left will be forced to retreat. But at the same time, these siege tanks are just doing work on this starport, dealing lots of damage. Sure, he has his expansion up sooner. He's even building a third base. Uh, Tasia really uh, confident that he's gonna be able to hold this off, spending money on that. But he's now repositioning himself over here on the natural. He's gonna put his tanks in position. That's gonna cut off these reinforcements from getting to the natural. Good position here for innovation. He's got one siege tank. He's even throwing down auto turrets to deal with the siege tank. The siege tanks in their back are getting wailed on by this siege tank up here in the front. And the scan goes down, and that's gonna force innovation to fall back before he loses that last siege tank. And you know what? Tasia thought he could hold it. And by golly, he held it and even brought a Banshee up here to attack his opponent's base. But nevertheless, gets scanned and gets killed anyway. But uh, great hold there from Tasia. Let's check the losses from both of our players. 2,375 for Tasia, 2,275 for Innovation. So pretty, pretty similar there between both our players. And the worker count, 39 for Tasia, 36 for Innovation. After all that, all that ruckus. So working out pretty well for Tej. He gets his third command center up miles before Innovation does. Innovation has no gas. Tej has gas. This is just looking great for Tej. He's ahead in the supply. Uh, he's building a lot of barracks. Yeah, he's building a lot of barracks. Um, tank count. He's behind the tank count by one. And Innovation is just continuing to put on the pressure. Let's see where he can kind of maybe set up a position. Maybe set up a position over here. Uh, pick off some of these... Um, refineries. I mean, he. I'm pretty sure he saw that command center whenever he was running around shooting so. shooting up the place, yeah. So he saw the command center position. So moving down to that third to out wouldn't be, you know, out of question, but uh, innovation feeling, you know what, I, I think I've got what it takes. You know, he doesn't have any upgrades for his marines. Uh, no upgrades, period, but his opponent does have cloak, which could be a problem. And look at this. Oh my god, Tasia seems like he was already in position for this tank sieging up. Tasia getting a lot of first shots off there. And it's look like they're going to trade Siege Tanks there for a little bit. game goes down on both players. Which tank is going to die first? It's looking like Tage's tank is going to die. Yeah, oh, my God, that was so close. <laughs> Innovation's eking that out there by, like, 10 HP. And, unfortunately, this Siege, siege Tank just barely out of position. Not going to be enough to take out that Siege Tank. Uh, Innovation maintaining air control with the double Vikings. But he has to watch out. tage has got his own uh, Viking over here as well. But, of course, he's not going to get a repair down on that. Tasia backing up a little bit. He's using that third command, command center just to produce mules. And, of course, Scan's still making a bunch of Marines. Vikings trading between both players here. Scan goes down. Tasia's going to clean up the rest of those Vikings. So at this point, you can slow push the siege tanks as long as um, Innovation doesn't have vision from those Scans. You can just slow push or even sacrifice some couple Marines to keep this bunker open. And um, more Marines just walk straight onto you. Drops a Viking right in front of those siege tanks, hoping to take up a lot of fire. But he... Uh, so, okay, that was actually a pretty decent trade. Uh, one Viking, a couple Marines for two siege tanks. Pretty good trade there for Tasia. He's staying alive. 
And another siege tank goes down, and, and Tage just keeps picking off these siege tanks from Innovation. And Innovation, I think, is going to be forced to retreat, backing up here. Running out of siege tanks at this point. He's only got one factory, so it's not like these things are growing on trees. They're actually built in factories, in case anybody was unclear on that. We got a, the rocks going down. Tage is still feeling pretty confident. It's held, held uh, two great defenses so far this game. Manages to uh, hold twice, and now he's going to set up a third base, and Tasia feeling uh, pretty good at this point. Innovation just now getting both his gases set up as natural. He's got a uh, medevac being boosted out here just because just because these, these Marines need to be healed, and they don't got time to waste. One Marine here from Innovation will scout out this force from Tasia pushing out across the map. He's got some siege tanks in there, both of which are quite a little bit low. Six factories for... Innovation and uh, Tasia's up on uh, seven factories. Got the armory on the way as well. Let's see. Stim is going to be done for Innovation and, uh, or sorry, for Tasia. Innovation already has Stim done. So both players have Stim done, but look at this 1 1 upgrades here for our Blue Terran player, Tasia. And, oh, well, we got a Doom Drop making its way into the natural. Is there anything to scout this out? Oh, he's got to drop straight on top of all these reinforcements. And Tage is getting a great position here. He's going to be right in all the production facilities of Innovation. He's going to be able to kill everything that, that pops out of here. And at the exact same time, Innovation is going to try and push up to the natural. But there's already siege tanks over here. There's units in position. There's a bunker. Tage is in such an amazing position. He's pulling all the SCVs. Innovation is going to try and kill all these siege tanks with just marines, or sorry, with just SCVs, and it's looking like he's going to accomplish that, but with these stem marines here in combat shields in the natural, or sorry, in the main, Tage is just gutting Innovation at this point. Oh, these SCVs just waiting around to die. Oh my god, sure, sure, he's got Innovation pushing his way into the natural. He's got his own siege tanks, but he doesn't have stem marines. That's okay, actually, he does have stem marines, but he doesn't have that many of them. One siege tank goes up, and there's the GG from innovation. Just not enough. These marines, man, don't base race versus stemmed marines and medevacs. These guys kill everything insanely fast. Uh, so, great game there by Tasia. Finishing the series up strong. 2 1 versus innovation. Uh, two great holds there this game. Uh, you know, fighting off both those, getting that third command center up, playing a little bit greedy, but it worked out for him. Getting those 1-1 one, one upgrade, one, one bio upgrades was huge. And coming in with this four medevac timing was just boom, right on it. Killed the re <coughs> excuse me, killed the reinforcements and just murdered everything in there. He was in his opponent's base when innovation was only halfway across the map. That just gives him a huge time advantage to deal with it. And that's going to be the end of the series. That was a pretty fun TVT. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed my stuff, head on over to YouTube.com slash Chikino. Give me a comment, like, and subscribe, all that fun stuff you can do. Uh, send me a message on Twitter if you want to, at E-O-N-S-H-I-K-E-N-O. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.